thanks for clicking on this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do this Kim Kardashian inspired makeup um, using a lot of drugstore products actually. Keep watching for the rest of the steps. I'm actually going off of a picture that I saw on Instagram like forever ago. That's a picture of Kim Kardashian. Um, and I'm going to be definitely posing with the because our girls don't match. I'm using the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. There was, I can't remember when it was that I used um, powder underneath my eyes and my eyes looked really dry. And I was like, oh snap, am I getting older? Do I want to use? I think I'm gonna mix these, these two together. Maybe I just wanna use Okay, I'm just going to use this one. That's the L'Oreal foundation, the infallible one, in the color 106 Sun Beige. And if you are using some of this with your finger, just know that you're going to definitely need a major wipe to clean that off because it totally stays. The NC35 concealer in Studio Finish. And I'm using that on my blemishes. I'm going to use the Maybelline Concealer in 25. And in this video, in this picture, she doesn't have like crazy highlight. So I'm not going to do that. So does anybody else have Snapchat? I still don't understand it. There's, it's so confusing to me. Like my sister's like, get Snapchat. She tells me to do it like three months ago. Maybe more. And I was like, I don't get it. She's like, oh, well, you have to get it. Like, download it first. And I was like, uh, I don't get it. This is the um, BH Cosmetics one. I'm going to use first this bronzy color right there. She has very orange contour. So I got to figure out how to do that. I'm going to use this color and mix it with the brown. Her eyes isn't looking down, so I can't really tell what she's wearing. I'm going to take the color Carbon and then this angle brush and use that to kind of build up the liner look because she does have a pretty thick um, liner, but it doesn't look really like like liquid liner. It just kind of looks like a thick lash band. This just reminds me of when I was in high school. I used to always use... Um, like black eyeshadows as eyeliners. I used to wet them and then use them as eyeshadows or as eyeliners. Like I never used liquid liner at all. I never used um, like, like, a, like a gel liner. I used to always just use an eyeshadow and then wet it. Does anybody else do that? Or used to do that? Oh, it brings me back. For my inner corner areas, I'm going to use amber lights. I'm going to mix it a little bit with with wood, with wood wheat for the gold because she does have some gold in the inner corner. That I can see. I'm going to do the same thing with the gold. Just run it under here in the center. And then with that liner brush again with the black, I'm going to just bring that really, really close to the lash line. They look different. I'm gonna use these. My favorite brush, I'm gonna be using this guy right here. Hmm. I'm gonna come back to the brows. Okay, lashes. Took me a while. I'm gonna use the 
the Maybelline in 21 underneath the eyes so that it's like super bright. Um, a lot of my bronzers aren't that orangey, but um, the one that is, is the e.l.f. one. It's better work. Oh, you know what's a good one too? Is the Park Avenue Princess, the Tarte one. I'll use some of that. No, I'm going to stick to the... I'm just going to use a smaller brush to kind of like sharpen the cheekbones. You don't really see her cheekbones too much in this. It's more like blush, but we know her style. And then with the Beauty Blender, I'm using the color Soft Focus. I feel like I can use a lighter one though than this one because it's just not super light. But it's really pretty under the eyes. Yeah, this is a good one. So I don't have peaches, but I'll use that one. Because her blush is very, very orange. But in a good way. And she kind of like did it low. <sighs> Down there. Oh, god damn it. Bottom mascara. I use, I like to use this guy for the bottom because it has a very like teeny thin brush. Her lashes are crazy um, long. Her highlight on there for some reason like it looks very matte but I'm gonna add some so I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown uh, shimmer brick in apricot I think it's discontinued but I feel like there's like a billion other versions of this so choose what you will and I'm gonna use a lighter one right in the tip of my nose this is one of my favorite lip liners it's the Merlot one from Dordana I've had this one for probably... My lips go down this way, so I'm going to try to make mine extended a little bit. I'm actually going to mix two um, Jordana lipsticks. The colors Matte Gorgeous and Matte It Girl. I hope you can hear that baby crying. Oh. Hi. Oh my God, you look amazing. You look so good. Thanks, boo. Now it's your turn to say, so do you. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so do you. do you. What top is that? It's one Lily gave me. It doesn't fit me. It just looks like it does. I hope you guys like this recreation of the Kim Kardashian makeup that she did on some press. I don't know what she did, what it was for. But I saw it on Instagram and I was like, ooh, I like it. So if you're interested in me doing more celebrity inspired makeup tutorials, let me know and um, Instagram me or Snapchat me pictures of like looks you'd like for me to recreate. Obviously looks that like kind of gear more towards the tanner skins I am like all about. But if it's something that's a little bit lighter skin and might not translate the best for me, 